EJ Boxer live here with Chris Caban on the breaking news all over Twitter's now. Triple G will now be facing Kel Brook, I guess, for all the belts. So Eubank out, Triple G in, Vargas out, Triple G in. The whole of the world has been shot. Chris Caban's take. Chris Caban, tell the people what you think, man. I think it's crazy. I think Kel Brook never had a fight at 160. I know. Uh, they got some, he got some big balls on him, though. I give him, I give him credit. He got some big balls to take this fight, though. Well, he's a former. He's a he's a he's a, he's a current like really people got consider him one of the best welterweight champions of all. I mean, it's it's it, how many welterweights have gone up to middleweight from welterweight? Quite a few, though. Um, Leonard's been up this yeah. this is so it ain't ain't out of the ordinary for a guy to step up to. Nah, I ain't out of the ordinary. Man, Marlon Starlin went up and gave Michael Leonard a good fight. It, it, I was it, just about it, to say that Marlon yeah. Starlin is not. Yeah, yes. yeah. He gave Marlon. He gave Marlon. He gave none hell. Yeah. So mm -hmm. so a lot of guys done it. Um, Sugar Ray Robertson from from well weight to middleweight. Remember before there was no in between weight, so it's not out of the thing. Like everything's going crazy right now, man. Like. Triple G. Yeah, I, just, I gotta get Kill Brook props though. He took the Bills challenge out of here, bro. I think you, you yeah, banks, you banks were making it too difficult, and I think Eddie Hearn wants to teach him a lesson in some way. And I think Eubank must be crying at this point. I wonder what the Eubanks felt. They were they were making the negotiations probably hard, and Kell Brook and, and Kulovkin, it was probably easy. But you, don't you think they're sacrificing another UK fight like they did with Amir Khan? I mean, Kel, actually, Kell Brook did say he wanted to fight Triple G before though, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I always see Kel Brook try to unify Walter Way, then fight them Drip Triple G next. Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Go ahead, be much. We all know we all know gonna beat up on Kel Brook. Yeah. Yeah, well, he I must be getting a nice payday though. Yeah, he probably it's probably for the money. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You guys must be upset. <laughs> I'm sure. I was thinking for a better fight than the whole Kell Brook and GGG. Yeah, well, I, I think I think uh, Kell Brook brings brings the world belts in in the line. You know, what I mean, he's a world champion, he's a current world champion, and a good one at that. Can he pull it off? Yeah. Is he? Is it, did, did, I think uh, does he have a better chance than Eubank? I mean, he's he's no, he can't pull it off. Uh, he couldn't really keep Sean Porter off. I know, I know. Keep, um, yeah, how you gonna keep? gonna get Juju G respect? Yeah, he's not gonna get Juju G gonna not walk the wall through him. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm that man going up two weight divisions, man. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's saying it now, man. Yeah, everyone's here talking about it, man. This is like breaking news, man. All over, the, all over the YTVC. I mean, this came out seconds ago. I mean, it's this hit wildfire. You guys got some bad reception there, Chris. I don't know. What, we're getting some feedback right there. But um, right now, man, I think the world are talking about. It. Does Kell Brook stand a chance? And I, 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 I gave you back more chance than I give Kell Brook. But maybe I don't know. I, I, I have to. I mean, I just. I'm in shock, bro. I'm in shock, yeah. Everyone's just in shock. I see Kel Brook getting stopped. He probably gets stopped on his feet. Yeah. Because the fellas ain't got no, he, he don't got no movement like that. You know, he's more flat-footed. So when that man, Triple G, you know, when he jumps on him or cuts the ring off and, and hits him with some punches, I can't see that man getting out the way. You know what I mean? Well, I'll tell you this, yeah. If Kel Brook pulls it off, the Eubank fight and, and Brook fight would be easy to make. <laughs> <laughs> that would be easy to make, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be that hard to make, is it? So yeah, and and then you, I tell you what, if Kelbert pulls it off, it takes Eubanks' limelight as well. The dad should maybe the dad shouldn't have been so shouldn't have been so demanding in negotiations. It was too hard. The dad was too hard. Well, Eubank, they negotiated himself out, man. They negotiated himself out. I'm I, I haven't got no fact in this, but I'm just I'm just uh, uh, I'm speculating that they probably negotiated himself out, you know. Because the thing is that it was there on the table the whole week. And also Vargas as well. Vargas was the one. He's another one. It ain't even you, Bank. Vargas demanding too much as well, isn't it? But but that's not on, on um, Eddie Hearn and them. That's top rank paying them. That, that got nothing to do with 
what Kell Brook should make, you know what I mean? Yeah, but the thing is, Vargas was saying he was the A-side and he was asking for way too much money in top rank. Like, Eddie Hearn would have to pay out more and more. Kell wouldn't even make that much money back. It's not even worth it. He going to win, but he wasn't going to make that much money back. And, and we're in the game for money. Eubanks, they were going to fight, but they wanted more money on the pay-per-view thing. You know what I'm saying? So... They both priced that they both demanded too much, and I think Eddie Hearn went went for the easier guys. You know, Kel Kel will fight anyone, you know, and he's proven that. Like, I, I Kel wanted a big fight. This is a super fight. I mean, if Kel was to pull this off, man, boy, I mean, he's already beat Brook. If Kel pulls this off, boy, I mean, he's fight. Kel's been good against European type fighters anyway. I think Kel's got a really good chance if you think about it, really. I don't think he got no chance of it in hell. I'm gonna put my, <laughs> I'm gonna put my money on Kel. He ain't never. I'm gonna put my money down on Kel and probably lose it down the toilet. But I think I'm gonna knock Kel ass out. But I, I'm crazy enough. I was gonna put my money down. I'm putting my money down on Eubank. So, but I give Kel. I, Kel was very look Kel, the way Kel fights European fighters. I, uh, like like Golovkin, he be but Golovkin. Wow. Yeah, EJ Even EJ books in like Carson EJ. Jones fight. He got hurt by Carson Jones a little bit. EJ books in like Chris. Let's try and remember. Yeah, EJ boxing live, man. EJ boxing live. You gotta realize we watched that fight together. Yeah, you know he can't take it. You gotta start hating on GGG. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to be. We have to be practical. I, I think the odds. Yeah. Is, uh, let, me, let me give you. Let me ask this question, Chris Cabana. Are uh, the odds the worse for you, Banks, or they worse for Kel Brook? I think they should be worse for Kell Brook. I think so. I don't well. know the odds, but they should be worse for Kell Brook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because then Eubanks is a proven puncher at uh, middleweight. Mm 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 mm. Yeah, but that's that's the thing. Well, boy, people are talking about it, man. All right, all right. What about anyone who put money that Kell can go the distance? No, I ain't putting money on that shit. I ain't putting money. <laughs> <laughs> he going. I got about going out by. I'm gonna give him be nice. He go fourth for fifth round. Yeah, Shachenko, Shachenko, he struggled against Shachenko. See, the thing is, I think they're selling that, uh, the UK fighters like Ke Khan went against Canelo and got got killed. So, we, we, so this is like right, how many which round triple he's gonna knock Kell Brook out? Like, doesn't this come? Doesn't it come like that? Which round is uh, Kell Brook gonna be knocked out? That's what it probably like, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah, I, yeah, that's gonna be like a miracle fight. Like, he gonna um, yeah, he gonna bomb him. He gonna get knocked out though. Yeah, he gonna get back. He don't get knocked out, man. Yeah. I see a stop, a stoppage. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't, there's no way in hell he's going to distance and getting hurt by Carson Jones. No, sir, man. It's so, uh, I'll give you the date, you guys, for the people listening as well. September the 10th at the O2. So, that four days line with me. So, I'll be at the press conferences checking that out in September. Um, David Hayes should be fighting Shannon Briggs around that time as well. So, it's a good time of boxing in the UK. Um, and it will be for the IBF. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I think it's for yeah, it's for Golovkin's titles. So Golovkin's putting all his belts on the line. So Glo yeah, he's going for the middleweight title, man. And Golovkin's coming to the UK, man. It's just gonna be a holiday for Golovkin, man. Either way, a holiday Golovkin. I like the Ubek fight because it was it was it was the unknown. But this one is, is this percentage is like come on, man. I, I, I'm gonna what are they gonna just, be on the undercard? Dillian White and Antonio Torres. I, I think Ubek. <laughs> Even Eubanks are left match room right now. I think the Eubanks have left match room. Um, well, already? Yeah, because uh, the uh, thing is, yeah, they couldn't get the fight. If they couldn't get the fight, Eddie did his job, yeah, to try and get the fight. If they couldn't get the fight done, then the Eubanks have missed out. If Kel beats U Triple G, man, the, the Eubanks have done hard. They, they, they negotiated harder and vigorously, man. And they've done themselves out. But he's still the British champion, but... Hey man, this this uh this this is this is uh this is a big blow to the Eubanks man. It's a big blow to the Eubanks and it's a big blow to Vargas. To Jesse Vargas. Uh, yeah. That you know, this 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 get it right. Jesse Vargas He was looking forward to that one point seven mil, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was yeah, he was man. He, that that was probably gonna be his biggest payday. Well if he moving no up then um Jesse Vargas should fight um Errol Smith next. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's he was good. talking about Timothy Bradley rematch. Well, I don't want to see them matches. You know Tom need to stop doing that shit. But you know what? Yeah, as, as, a, as a promoter, right? Let's let's get it right. You, Kel Brook is an easy guy to get along with, and so is Triple G. They both want to fight the best. There's no nonsense with them two. See, Jesse and you guys are giving too much stress. You know what I'm trying to say? Like Jesse didn't have to ask for too much than Kel. Why didn't he go 50-50? They're both champions. Why did he want more than Kel Brook? Why did Eubanks 
why don't you then say, okay, you know, you we respect you're the champion, so we're gonna be parrot. There's gonna be parity on on the on the money we're gonna earn. We're gonna earn money, so why don't we be cool? And now they've got nothing. They've had nothing. Like they had, like one of the biggest paydays, one of the biggest fights, and now they both have nothing. Where does Vargas go from now? Questions to the panel. And where does Eubank Jr. go from now? Chris Caban, oh, B. Marsh. Eubank Jr. Junior. Fight Jacobs then, that's it. Yeah, I was about to say Jacobs. That's who he should fight, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he's you know he's in line in that WBA. You know what I mean? Who that? P P PNC? Yeah, what's up, man? I'm just on a quick break at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yo, was, yo. Yeah, get, yeah, jump and give us your take on or your initial thoughts on this, this back. Chris, I'm going to mute you, Chris. Because you're getting some feedback and it's just like real static, right? Yeah, good job, Chris. Yeah, Kel Brook, uh, yeah, I think it's a plus for uh, Kel Brook. You know, he's trying to slay a giant. Uh, it's a, uh, a negative for GGG because he's still, he's still going to be seen as fighting a smaller guy. It would have been different if Kel Brook had, uh, had a couple of fights at 160. I know he's got that weight issue, but he's a, he, I mean, they say he's a big guy. And so, mm. hey, maybe, that, that should, I mean, maybe, uh, me, I, I don't think it's on Vargas, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it wasn't on Vargas, maybe it was on Kill Brook regarding his weight. And so he probably decided, hey, let me go ahead and get the, not only the, get the money, but uh, an opportunity to, uh, you know, submit my legacy. You get what I'm saying? Because he hasn't done much so far. The guy's like 30, 31. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm happy for Kill Brook, but as far as GGG, um, it's, it's a name, you know what I'm saying? It's, an, it's at least a name, but... Um, it's, it's like one negative for him, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, uh, Kell Brook is coming up two weight classes. Mm. So I, I'm not sure if he'll get any credit at the end of the day. You know? what, what if, what if uh, it's, all on, it's all on Kell Brook? To, all the glory is on Kell Brook, really, isn't it? Triple G just has to go and yeah. just do his thing, right? I agree with I agree with what PNC saying. GGG is yet again beating up another little guy. He was yeah. beating up a lot of 154 guys. Now you're back beating up another 147 guy. You're absolutely right, but I, I, I'm not going to blame him. I ain't going to blame him. If no one wants to fight him, why not fight one of the, one of the best waterweights? <laughs> why not? I mean, uh, I didn't, didn't, didn't Michael Nunn Why do that? Why Why can't he go up and fight a bigger guy? He don't want to. He don't have to either. He doesn't have to do anything. He just, he don't have to do anything. Uh, why he don't fight? He doesn't have to give him credit for that fight, dude. No, but Laura, why Laura, why Laura negotiating for the fight? I don't hear Laura negotiating, sending these people over there to talk to Triple G. I don't hear none of that. So, you know. You, you, you never heard to, Triple G say nothing about it, bro. You, you, you right. if you got promoter like Eddie Hearn, he's got, he's very vocal. Where, where's their vocal people and doing your? You know what I'm trying to say? You gotta do more. Send your people around there. Have them knock on the door with a camera like my I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, what he used to do, and and terrorize these people. That's all it comes down to, man. Like there's ways of. Well, they already that. did. They said Laura wasn't a big enough name. Well, they, they didn't want to fight Lara. If they didn't want to fight Lara, they, they didn't want to fight Lara, man. A, a, a Kell Brook fight. Kell Brook's a big name, but he's gonna be. It looks like he's gonna be like Amir Khan. He's gonna, he's, you know, is it? I hope he's gonna earn enough money that um, he, he you know, he can. He, I hope he's gonna earn enough money to re rebuild his career because the beating he gonna get ain't gonna be funny, bro. Like this for real, for real, you know. Yeah, man. Another welterweight coming up. That's who he fighting. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boxing no world. Credit. It's, it's a shock to the boxing world, man. It's a complete shock. Who over here, man? This, uh, this complete shock. So PNC, the question, Chris, give yourself a mute this day. I'm getting some feedback. Thanks, yeah. Like PNC. Um, so where does Vargas go from now? Excuse me, guys. Yeah. I got um. I think Vargas is going ahead and maybe fight Earl Spence or something. Okay, Earl Spence, maybe. Maybe because, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about it. Maybe uh, they vacate the IBF belt. Mm. You know, uh, what's the name moving up? So you're probably going to have to vacate the IBF belt. Um, Earl Spence, uh, Linda Bundu fight might be for the IBF belt. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that might be it. That's a good so one. So Vargas, man. yeah, so Vargas might take that Bradley fight. And then uh, later on, might be a unification with uh, Earl Spence and Vargas, because mm -hmm. uh, Earl Spence ranked number four uh, in the W. I think number four, number three in the WBO. So, 
That's all I can think is uh, maybe Bradley for Vargas or something like that. Maybe just wait for to see what Earl Spence does. Mm. I, 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 I've, um, I, I just came with a notion. I remember when this happened because I remember Man U Stewart used to have Mike McCallum, and um, Mike McCallum was the next person to fight Roberto Duran, and it was for the 154 uh, uh, title, which uh, he Roberto Duran beat of Michael Moore, um, and uh, David Moore, David Moore, David Moore, and uh, the Mike McCallum was next in line, and what he did, he 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 shut out Mike McCallum and put Hearns in, and as we know, we saw what happened. This is the same type of thing, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm just saying? It's the same. And the history was written. This is the same sort of thing, bro. Like, Eubanks... And, and the thing is, yeah, if I see you, who you think Eubanks is fighting now, no one even cares right now. No one even cares right now that you Eubanks... Because he ain't got no one to fight no more. He has to sit, he has to sit on the sidelines and watch this happening. You know what I mean? He has to watch... All the dreams of him fighting the very best has been washed out. Yeah? If, Ke- if Kel gets through... Kel don't have to fight thing. If Kel gets through, Kel is gonna be so so much on a high. Kel could probably retire at this point, you know. If Triple G fights, then then Eubank has to fight even longer, you know. Either way, if a Eubank is it's devastating. It's devastating. Yeah, he's hurt, man. For real. That's a lot of money. He's seeing flying out the window. Yeah, yeah. For real, man. For real. Yeah, man. Jesse Vargas could fight fellas like Danny Garcia too on the other side of the street. Yeah, yeah. you know that'd be a good. That's a unification fight too. Danny, J- yeah, Danny Jacobs can come into the picture. I mean, Eubank was supposed to fight him before, but bro, if you was just about to fight the best in boxing, and now you have to fight Danny Jacobs. That's a long come down, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's a come. Down. That's, a come down. Yeah, that's a, like mm. a real big drop down. Yo, someone who got the feel back over there? Someone got some. Who's that? Beats? Yeah, Beats. Yeah, we're recording live. Boxing Beats and Rams just jumped in. He saw it himself. How you doing, Beats? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm yeah, good. Yeah, what's your... Work, yeah, yeah. I, I just, Go ahead. I just met... I just met Aaron Graham, innit? Oh, where'd you meet him? Oh, I, just, I ain't gonna say where because uh, that'll be giving away his location, but just in the ends, man. You're gonna give me a hint. Damn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, yeah. Cause I, he was, she he, got an interview with him, Beats. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I put his number, man. Yeah, that's uh, right. Go ahead. I tell you what, I met him in the same spot that I met, met James the girl the other week. Oh, that's same all right, show. man. Hey, oh. both of them um, super middleweights. That's 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 coincidence. He was in a yoke call the other day, actually. Beats, give us your initial yeah. thoughts on Triple G and Kelbrook. It's just been signed now. Give us your take on on the ramifications. Uh, at what weight? One fifty-seven. They're fighting at one. They're fighting at one sixty. Ah, uh, well, how does Kel? Kelbrook has him for 154. It's, it's probably uh, more suicidal than Khan taking on Canelo. Ah, here we go. Go ahead, Beats. Go in. Yeah, <laughs> take your time, man. We're listening. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't see how it works. I mean, if you you tell me how you can't finalize fights with most of the welterweights, and now you're fighting Triple G. I don't know. Are our welterweights just getting stupid, like Khan and Kelbrook? Mm-hmm. The fight's scheduled for September the 10th. It's going to be the O2 that falls in line with us, Beat. So when you're ready, Beat, you, I'm sure you're going to make your way down there to the media workout. Also, how how does it affect you, Banks? They were, were they were too tough on the negotiations and Jesse Vargas, Beats. Give us your take on that. Well, you, Banks, seen was playing hard ass, and, you know, they, they just effed they just him off. You know, they said, nah, we ain't dealing with this, and they just went another direction. That's what happens, you know, like, you can go, you can go hard. But I did say, what, uh, what's the limit for Matram before they just start effing the u up and saying, look, you ain't that special, which is new box. Yeah, you know? I, if anything, um, Eddie, did, Eddie did, did his honor deserve the contract, as Eubank said. So it was up for them to, 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 to sign it, and, and they haven't got it. And Sky's going to, and to be honest with you, I, I was saying to the panel, uh, Kell Brook was easier to make the Kell Brook fight than it was for uh, for, for, for the Eubanks, you know, because Kell Brook will fight anyone. So, so uh, this is. Kind of sound like Eddie, Eddie is a set on Tim White. Brook, you know what I mean? Because they Oh, he's saying. Selling... the waste, man. Look like he's selling. He's selling. He's selling. selling the... Kel Brooks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you making a fight triple G at 160? They didn't even get 157. Nah, 160. So 160, bro. They're fighting yeah, for all the belts. All the belts on the line. In September. I think Kel win, but you know what? Kel, look, it's all over. I got on my feet. But Kel Brook did up beats. Remember, you, hey, if you put your uh, words out in the universe, guys, it happened. Kel Brook did voice his point. He said he had to fight Triple G. He did say that, didn't he? You remember? Yeah, he been said that. Mm-hmm. He did say that. 
did say that. Especially when Khan got the Canelo fight. Yeah, he said, I'll fight Triple G. I'd fight Triple G because he was so upset about the Khan situation. But you know what? Mm -hmm. Khan will sit back and laugh his head off. This is a good question for the panel, and I'd like everyone to answer this. Do you think Kel have performed better than Khan against Khan and Canelo? Or Kel against Triple G? Who do you reckon would perform better? Who do you think will last? Obviously, we know where Khan. Who do you think, how, you, how many rounds do you reckon Khan uh, Kel, Kel will go against Triple G? I think four or five. <laughs> I give him probably the same thing, man. By six rounds, maybe seven. Less than less than Khan. How many rounds did Khan go? With seven or something, isn't it? Six. 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 Yeah. Six. So around the same time, you guys got him getting flattened, yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking at how Kill Brook fight and how Triple G fight. Mm -hmm. Kill Brook almost got hurt by Carson Jones. He's definitely getting knocked out. Boy, man, this is this is shocking news. I tell you what, man, on the backdrop of this, man, boxing. To me, I'm. Uh, I, to be honest with you, I, I'm happy for. I'm happy in a way, but then I'm not because you guys obviously Triple G again is not fighting the best. But hey, this is how it is. Catch weights or for the. He's, and listen, he's fighting them at, at the right weight. weight you know? No, sorry, stop. He's not catch weight. He's no, 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 no. I was just. I was just finishing what I was saying. I said. This, this is what I'm saying. It's not fat. This is on all them catch weights compete. He's fighting at the proper weight. That's what I'm saying. To finish yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's fighting at all them catch weights guys can get lost. He's fighting them at the a traditional weight. And we was the same beach here. We was mentioning all the fighters who went up from 147 to 160 and done fairly well. So it's not it's not out of the question that Kel could do that. So jump from one six from 147 to 160. A lot of fighters. Go ahead. I'll tell, I'll tell you what then. Um, let me make make the case. I, I, I did see Kelbrook take a flash knockdown years ago. It, was, it wasn't a convincing knockdown. I saw um, the guy who ended Ricky Hatton's career kind of started with a shot. Carson Jones bloodied him up, but Kel, Kel was well in control of that fight. If you got the fight, he was in, well, in, well, he was in control of the fight. And um, mm. he's undefeated. No one really hurt him that bad. He does have good hand skills. He's more compact than Khan. Mm. Um, he, he's probably more fresher than a lot of Triple G's opponents that yeah. he's faced. Mm. So, who knows? Who knows? They must... Look, look. Kill Brook's dead at 147. He must be dead. Mm. Yeah? There's mm. no way he can make one... I don't think he can make 147. That's why they started asking... Like, now you're telling me this new thing. That's why they were fucking around with the Vargas fight. It wasn't because the money was short. Like, I think he was struggling with the weight. But I think... Yeah. Um, I think this here... It, it's um, a, a, a combination of him struggling with the weight and maybe a bit of a desperation move as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe he might do it, man. Maybe he might do it, man. Well, I, I, I was, <laughs> out, out now because he's trying to weigh up. You know what? Um, I was saying, Beach, here that Kel Brook fights very well against European fighters, technically. Wow, I think his style suits well. His style was probably... He does very well. Again, like you said, Menchichenko... I'm, I'm, I'm on my uh, grouping on, on my WhatsApp and a lot of people say, well, he struggled against Shashenko. He got rocked, like you, like you pointed out, against Shashenko. How's he going to do against Triple G? Well, Triple G, how's Triple G hey. going to do with Kel Punches? Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, EJ, yeah. Uh, I want to re reiterate uh, talk to, uh, on that as far as his weight and everything like that. But all we know, he's probably uh, an actual 160, you know, who's weight dragging himself two weight classes. Yeah. Like Miguel Vasquez yeah. who fought Canelo at 140. Mm -hmm. And this dude all of a sudden weight drains himself to fight at 135 for the rest of his career. You know, and darn well, he's probably a 147 fighter. You know, so, and like you guys were saying, you know, guys that have uh, come come up from 147 to 160, but he's probably one of those guys that weight drain themselves, one weight classes, or even two weight classes. He just can't do it on us no more, so he had the physical advantage. And then on top of that, maybe because he was weight drain, he was getting, uh, you know, he was getting uh, stunned by some of those uh, those flush shots. You know what I'm saying? Maybe because uh, maybe it was like weight drain. Mm. So, mm. That's a good point. Other than that, man, I'm, I'm out. I'll be listening. All right. All right, man. No point, PS. All right, PS. Thank you. Whoa, I don't know. No, it's um, it's it's crazy. He's yeah. fought at 154 before. You know what I'm saying? So I give him legit. I I, I won't put him up there as a, a he got middleweight type weight. You know what I mean? It'll be just another welterweight coming up. You know what I'm saying? Not he's not a legit middleweight. Yeah, but he's not, he's not a welterweight. He feels like he's he's squeezing into that weight. So, <laughs> squeezing. Yeah. <laughs> 
he he's, fought there his whole career though. Yeah, that's what that's what I was trying to say. So he's, he's probably since so oh four. Yeah, yeah. Like Khan came up from light, really a lightweight up to up to yeah. up to. You know what I'm saying? It's easier for Kel. But like you said, he's going against arguably one of the best guys. No one gives him a chance. I'll put a little. I, uh, I'll put some change down on it. I'll put some change on it, bro. I put a little change. Why not? Why not? Triple G ain't shit. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, put I gotta look at the odds and find the best, the best parlay for that one. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Put some odds down on that, man. I put some odds. Maybe. I'm surprised you don't use. I'm surprised. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, you know the thing is you know what? I, like, look, all right, I'm on Eubanks, friends. So apparently now Triple G will be fighting Kel Brook. This is official on Chris Eubanks' Facebook page instead of me in September. I haven't been shown one contract since since my fight with Triple G was announced. I'm still ready and I'm waiting to sign a to sign. Triple G versus Kelbrook is a joke. <laughs> Brooks now now here now here close nowhere close to being a middleweight. That's Eubank Jr. that said there. He's nowhere near to me. Yeah, sorry, right? Like Triple G is Abe Sanchez, yeah? How do I rely on Team Triple G that they did give Chris Eubank Jr. the contract? How do we know they did about Chris Eubank lost his pay? How do we know that's true? Eubank, I mean, is that true? This is what you don't know. know. Yeah, it might not be true. What that's just the same word. What are you talking about? Um, the the like, other guy? Because Triple G was saying, ah, oh, Eubank has lost his pay. He hasn't signed his contract. How do we know that? Like, is that true, though? Has Eddie Hearn said that? This, this, well, I don't know about that, but I know that I've got a report through my email saying, from, from Matchroom saying this fight's official. That's all I know. I don't know about all the other stuff, all the antics before, but I know this fight's been signed. And you have to factor in, Eubanks is a hard negotiator, and he's been, they've been making it hard, he's been hardballing it for a while. And Jesse Vargas, he's been hardballing Kel Brook. Kel Brook and Triple G, in, in their characters, they're easygoing guys. You can easily say this fight would, it was probably easier to make. Easier. They probably done it. You know what they probably did, Pete? They probably did 50 50 parity and just kept it rolling. All the other oh. stuff there about the pen and all that stuff, yeah? I don't know if that was true or not. I don't know. But I know, I do you know that Eubank's out and Eubank is pissed. Right now, it says on his Facebook thing, he's proper pissed. Yeah. See? Everyone attacking um, Canelo for doing what he's doing. Look at Triple G. You're fighting welterweights now. Good point. Fight, that's fight, what fight. I was saying. That's what I was saying. But that's exactly what I was saying. I was saying why he don't challenge and said why he can't fight nobody at 168. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask a question. You know something? Triple G too big and too good. He didn't beat him up. I really hope Kelbrook knocks him out. I, I don't care. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I already know. Knocks him out. Yeah. 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 In the chocolate brownie, like, like all the Sheffield loving me. You know what I mean? I was, I was gonna put Eubank. I was gonna put Eubank in this fight. Kel Brook's got a lesser chance, boy. But I'm, I'm gonna go with Kel Brook still. You know what I mean? Go with Kel Brook. He's got to fight the fight of his life. You know, and Eddie Hearn will build it up as such. If Kel Brook pulls this off, man, I tell you, man, I, he's, you know what? He's probably got a better chance than 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 Khan fighting uh, Canelo. Probably, but not much. There's not much charge in there in this. He's, he's supposed to get battered and battered bad. No one gives him a chance. In fact, who get... Go ahead. No, he's supposed to get messed up. Yeah, he's supposed to get mm -hmm. messed up. I want that beast. It's the same thing um, when James the Girl was fighting Darrell. It was the, like the booby prize. Like you said, the southpaw hard. You know what I'm saying? No one's going to give Kel... You know, but hey, it's Kel... No, no, but I actually thought the girl could win that. I don't think the, the Brooke can win this. Yeah, but it was... <laughs> yeah, it was, a tough, it was a tough fight, man. I had picked on the... Well, but I was weighing them options for a long time because I thought it was a close 50-50 fight. Mm -hmm. And it ended up being a close fight at the end, <clears throat> even what, with the knockdown. Jesse Vargas. If it wasn't for the knockdowns, Darrell would have won that fight. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'll tell you what, one thing here, Darrell. Um, yeah. I'll tell you what, you're right about that. Vargas must be pissed. He ain't got nowhere to go, bruv. Yeah. He has to fight one of them hard water weights now, bruv. I'm not saying Kel was going to be easy. I had Kel picking up his belt anyway. But now Errol Spence is there, going to be there, and them guys there, bro. It's, it's much harder. Kel just leaving the division. Hey, maybe Porter picks back his belt again. Maybe Porter gets back in there. 
Um, hey, maybe uh, Furman goes in there and picks up one of them belts. If, hey, maybe Furman versus Vargas. I'd like to see that fight. I wouldn't mind seeing that fight. I think that fight should be easy to make. Um, boxing yeah, is, I wouldn't mind that. Boxing has been tipped on his axis right now. EJ Boxing Live with the panel. Boxing Beast around. PNC, Chris Caban, B Marsh. I tell you what, man. No, EJ, but who said this is going to give up the belt? Is he giving up the belt? Well, this is the thing. Um, if you're fighting up in world class, what in, in your opinion, what traditionally happens when a guy moves up a weight class to fight someone else? He can fight. He can go up in weight class, and if he loses, he can still keep his belt. That's true, you know. It's and happened it, before. And you know what? You got like Azuma Nelson yeah. and, and Penel Whitaker. Absolutely. You know what? You know what I mean? He, 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 he does face his Manchu, didn't he? He does face his Manchu, didn't he? Recently. Um, who was the guy? It was, that, jo was, it um, not was it Jojo, jo jo Dan? Was it Jojo? Not Jojo Dan, it was the other guy, Busy. Busy. Busy, yeah. yeah. He just, that was his Manchester. His next Manchester was supposed to be um, Errol Spence. But he's already, so he's ne that'll be next year. So he's still, you're right, he can still retain his belt. Still probably alright as well. Which I doubt. Yeah, because Amir Khan got knocked out. Knocked out. He's still the number one contender for um, Danny Garcia, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I need to go on Kelbrook's Twitter right now. I'm going to go on Kelbrook's Twitter and see what's going on. Twitter, everything's blowing up. I, I, I don't know if it's trending that bigly, actually. I don't know. Let me see how it's trending. I don't think it's trending that big, actually, on, on, on the thing. Um, but this is, this is uh, I remember when, Kel, when uh, Amir Khan decided to bite Kel, um, Canelo, that, that really, really did do some damage. I think people kind of, this is the kind of same sort of shock, actually. Because the he's uh Eubank's been cut out of the loop, mate. I wonder how he feels about Eddie Hearn. He said he's gonna leave him, right? Uh well they done a fight. Well, they ain't got nowhere else to go. That's the biggest platform, you can't really do anything. Eddie Hearn's done yeah. Eddie Hearn's done him in, man. But they've done him no. I think they done Go ahead. That's the thing. They tried to be independent and do a little short contract. But Eddie Hearn ain't, don't have no loyalty to them at all. Yeah. Doesn't have no loyalty. It's it's um second biggest thing on Twitter, bro. So it's 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 gaining mad traction right now. It's gaining Dang gaining man. mad traction right now. You know. Mad traction on Twitter, man. It's just shot right up to the stop where do you actually do got the where. <laughs> I tell you, I only hear what Kelbrook has to say. I only hear what Eddie Hearn has to say. Cougar needs to get out his get out his bloody dust off his camera and get down there and see what's going on. Look, Kelbrook. Triple G must be happy though. I mean, he's he's got an easy. He's basically Triple G. Yeah, got another, got another, got another small dude to be yeah, up yeah, on yeah. He's, he's, Triple G's coming for another <laughs> holiday. Yeah, he's coming for another holiday. That's what I'm saying. And so Kelbrook on his Twitter says, on September the 10th at the O2, I will take on. The most feared fighter on the planet, Triple G. Let's go, UK. Two weight champion. Two, hey, hey, that's what Kelbrook's saying. Kelbrook's already in confidence that yeah. he's going to take it. Yeah, take it. I ain't in confidence. He can say what he wants. He's supposed to say that. He's supposed to say that. He's supposed to say that. Yeah. 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 You guys, you guys, you guys, this, this is just like, uh, nah, I, you know what? You know what? Uh, to be honest, I think we need this kind of news because there's a low. Hey, another thing as well, you guys, yeah? I want to get your prediction while we're here. Um, Sergio Kuroff will be fighting on Monday, by the way. He's fighting on Monday against uh, Isaac Chilembe. Does anyone give Isaac Chilembe a chance to win that fight? Yeah, a chance. A chance is there. <laughs> so I guess that's <laughs> no, that he has more, more power. No one gives. I can see and give the man some problems, you know what I mean? It's going to be a tough fight, it's going to be a tough fight, people think. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I just, well, you know, if he had more power, I think he could give that man problems, you know what I mean? Because he's a slick fighter, got decent defensive oh, skills, you know? Shit, man. There's, hey, there's a, ES, there's a poll on Triple, there's a poll on ESPN Boxing, right? Triple G by knockout or decision, Kelbrook by KO decision or draw. Bravo, I, I bet you I'm going to press it, yeah. I bet if I put KO and mm. KO and draw, KO and decision, it's just, yeah, man, there you go. Triple G by knockout, man. Or decision. Either way, Triple G wins the fight. Kelbrook ain't winning. No, they ain't got Kelbrook winning. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. This ain't even competitive fight to me. Before the break, we, we broke goes. that massive news about Here. Kelbrook fighting Gennady Golovkin uh, in a couple of months' time, a few months' time. Adam Smith broke that news. Adam's still here, but on the line now is the man himself, Kel Brook. Kel, thanks very much for coming on. It's a massive fight, it's huge news. We're all quite shocked by it, if I'm honest. What's your reaction been? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, this is what I'm, this is what boxing's all about. You know, this is what it's all about. Please need to mute yourself. Get, get some feedback. Fighters, you know, fans that want to fight the best. You know, but they really don't step up to the plate. 
you know, Eddie put this to me 24 hours you know, ago, and I said yes straight away. Running away from from Triple G, I'm running towards him. I want these back big fights like Sugar Ray Robinson did, jumping up, up jumping up to middleweight two times. You know, world champion. That's what I said. I said the same thing. Like Sugar Ray Robinson did it, man. So I said the exactly the same thing. Jumping up two weights, man. So um, they didn't have two weights back no when. Sugar Ray Robinson. Yeah, yeah. I, well, yeah. <laughs> it's look, look all right, what about, um, what's his name Back again? when it was jumping one way. It was that Caribbean fire, the one, the Caribbean fire got knocked out by Ruben, Ruben Carrigan Carter. He did it as well. What's his name again? Oh, uh, you talking about the, um, the yeah, same as Gabe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he did it as well. He did it as well. Yeah. Yeah, he did. How's he going to use the Rays on the Rays? beaten by um, Jerry Maxson. He got beaten up. Who got beat a job? A ring? No, 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 but that was light heavyweight. That's light heavyweight. Yeah, he went from middleweight to light heavyweight. No, he went from welterweight to middleweight. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. it was a welterweight champion. That's what we're talking, yeah? Okay. Yeah, okay. he tried to make a freeweight that didn't work. But this is what I'm saying. So it's possible that guy, look, look Leonard did it to Hagler. I know a lot of people didn't think he did it, but he did it. Like, like, I the definitely leap, don't think the, he did it. <laughs> no, the, no, no, that's cool. The, the leap from, from welterweight ain't as bad as is what it is. It's not as bad as Khan, Khan's one was, because Khan's his chin and whatever. But well, Kel, Kel, Kel's, Kel's got fragile thing, but no one's going to give Kel a chance, man. In c conclusion, anyone want to say anything in conclusion of this year? Because, um... What's that? Trey a pink fight for Triple G. Oh, there you go. Sure yeah. enough, it is, yeah. Drop the rip, Brony! Straight down the pipe, kid, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, what I can say? Chocolate Brony. Give the fucking chocolate Brony, man. Chocolate Brony. Hopefully. Ch chocolate Brony? What's that chocolate Brony? What do you mean by that? What's that? Chocolate Brony. That's a Gilbert sponge in it. A chocolate Brony. Yeah. Oh, you know about the chocolate Brony? Oh, I ain't heard that one. You didn't hear about that one? <laughs> no, I, I'm from the UK. I, V's got me on that one. I, that, that one I ain't heard of, man. Yeah, everybody know about that oh, one. Oh, man, you guys got me on that one. Oh, oh, Trooper G gonna eat them chocolate brownies, just walk right through them shit. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 all right, before we finish then, um, Broner versus Pacquiao, is that fight happening? And then anyone got any talk? I hope, I hope so. I can't hear this, I can't hear both of them training. I'm thinking it's like, I don't know, it looks like it might be happening. I hope it do. Yeah. Me too, man. Yeah, I want yeah, to ask you something because I seen some of the boxing saying is the um, Dillian White Antonio Tar gonna be on the undercard. Uh, Dillian White shouldn't go nowhere near. Uh, oh, Dillian, Dillian White. Hey, no. I pr apparently Tar <laughs> gonna knock him out. <laughs> I want to see that fight though. Look, he's gonna have fight. Or he's gonna yeah. be silly. They have to give Dillian a dodgy decision. Yeah, yeah. I know, apparently, some people are saying that Dylan White's being set up by Eddie Hearn to, to fail, you know? They, they're putting him in their place, so when he goes against Joshua, he's going to be even worse, man. I don't know if that's the truth, though, but he did, he did look awful in his last performance, but he did acknowledge that, so I don't know. I have to go mm -hmm. to Because Dylan White was like, let's go, old man, don't price yourself out. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He can't deal with himself full skills, man. No, nah, I can't. I don't think he could either. Hey, someone, hey, someone put up on Facebook. Rest in peace, Kell Brook. Shit. <laughs> 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 I don't think he get beat up that badly. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you got, you got a look. You got beats. No one's giving him. A, you, you, you know what? Real beats, bro. Go ahead. What does Kell Brook had to keep on um, GGG Yo, off yeah. him? Because Curtis Stevens could keep him off him. And Curtis yeah. Stevens hit way harder than um Kell Brook. Does he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who has killed Bull knocked out in uh, middleweight? He ain't even had no fight in middleweight yet. Why was this guy's um knocked out? Who knocked out? He knocked out some middleweights though. Yeah. <laughs> well, you think Kelbrook could have stopped some of the middleweights? He knocked out. I'm telling you, I'm um, telling you, Kelbrook could have knocked out the middleweights. He knocked out as well. Well, you, you think so? Yes. Chris, quote your source, Chris. You're getting you fl beast flamed you up. Yeah. Quote your source, Chris. You're getting flamed up out here. Beast got you on that one. But he's true though. Mm. But the thing is, Triple G you know because you know what? If you break down Triple G's opponents, arguably, yeah, like Kell Brook is a proper like he was one of the most feared waterweights in the division. People wanted to fight him. Errol Spence was, but not many people wanted to fight him. Furman didn't want, don't want to fight Kell Brook. So Kell Brook was was a lack of opponents and people trying to negotiate him, trying to trying to make Kell Brook. The under the B side is what we say, even though we don't really like to put that out there. So these guys. Oh, I got your beats. I got your beats. Hold oh, no, on, let me go back to the beats. Okay. Um, Kel Brook would have stopped Torino Johnson. How do you know that? I don't think he would. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so either. 
Yeah, like, Triano Johnson, a top dude. Yeah, well, that was because Triano was a top dude. I see him against the Irish dude that his ass handed to me. <laughs> I knew you were about to say that. I knew you were about to go with him. He dropped that Irish dude plenty of times, too. Yeah. Triano ain't no top dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, kill, kill, bro, knock him out and hurt him. I don't know if you could knock him out, but the ter- terrain over the ranks because the division is weak. Yeah, they, you have to go that. You have to go that. The world weight division is much harder, and Kel's one of the most dangerous guys out there. It's a credible. Hey, the triple triple deal will take it. It's like I beat a world weight champion because no one wants to fight me. That's how they make that out. So it's up to Kel Brook to spoil the sp- take the triple G out, man. This all is up to triple G and Beast. I pointed out earlier on. It reminds me of the move where Manuel Stewart uh, famously got. Uh, Hearns against Duran at 154 and pushed out Mike McCallum and that's what Eddie Hearns has done with Eubanks but I can say with the Eubanks I don't know but they actually probably done themselves in and at the minute I don't know I need to hear some information from the Eubanks camp but they have nowhere to go they're they they're like basically homeless who can they beat who can they fight right now I don't know I'm even I'm in it I'm over here I don't know who yeah, I, think they should rush you, dude. I think they should go and get that um go get that Lonsdale belt Get a bit more experience, get a bit more season, do a bit more sparring. And then, um, listen, they can go for a title in 2017. He can take on a Jacobs by then, or one of them guys. And he can take Triple G 2017. Yeah, no rush. They shouldn't panic. Fair enough. That's it, man. They shouldn't panic. You know, let the Brook get knocked out. I mean, get his, get his money. Keep his world weight title. As long as he as long as he's not get knocked out too bad. He'll be okay, man. He'll be all right. Yeah, B, he ain't gonna never be the same after this beat, me uh, too. I, I don't think so. People, <laughs> hey, who, who, Triple G's opponents, who's come back from Triple G's beating, though? Um, uh, Rosado's come back pretty well, and so is... Um, Rosado, been, Rosado been losing matches. Yeah, yeah but Curtis Stevens Stevens come back. Curtis Stevens come back pretty well. He had that fight with... Rosa, with he ain't fight nobody. Torino Dustin. Torino Dustin. Torino Dustin. Torino Dustin. Torino Dustin. The same Torino Dustin you did. <laughs> yeah. 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 Same Torino Dustin. Your friend name's a boss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, on that note, no, man. Uh, on that note, we closing out, man. We catch your next one. Peace. DJ Boxing Live here. DJ Boxing Live here. Boxing Live here. Must be done, the fat bump, the